All right, well, welcome back to Food Service Education. Today we're talking about the problem, and I'm going to give you the solution. I'm going to help you understand what the exam is looking for and what they're going to try to bait you with and make you think is the correct answer. That's why we leave an E and a T, the exam, the answer, or the potential answer, and the trap, what they might try confusing you with. Fat Tom, we obviously know that abbreviations are important. And on the ServeSafe exam, you're gonna see those abbreviations. Make sure you know them. For Fat Tom, we have the first letter. Can't have an issue without food. Then we have acidity, temperature, time, how long food sits out, oxygen, and moisture, where there's moisture, bacteria likes to harbor. Remember, Fat Tom can be found in 2.2. The temperature danger zone. This is the answer that they're looking for. 41 degrees Fahrenheit to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. We keep hot food hot, cold food cold, nothing ever in between. That's where bacteria grows. And speaking of bacteria, they're gonna try to speed it up by, by giving you a answer you might think is the correct answer. But no, what they're actually looking for here is 41 to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. What you want to stay away from is the fastest. This answer is not incorrect. It's just not the right answer on the test. A couple things. Understand Fat Tom. Understand the abbreviations. Second thing, temperature, danger, zone. 41 to 135. We keep hot food hot, cold food cold, nothing ever in between. And yes, this is the correct answer right here. Bacteria does thrive in those conditions, but it is not what we're looking for when it comes to understanding Fat Tom and how to get the question correct.